Well, here's something I rarely, if ever, do, but it just been troubling me all afternoon since I put the review up, and that's do a, another look at an instrument with new strings on it. Uh, I rarely, if ever, change the strings and always review instruments with the strings that it comes with, and for the simple reason, uh, because strings, string choice is a personal thing, so I can get an instrument with terrible strings that I think are terrible, change them to what I like, and it may not be the strings that you like. Strings are not a hard and fast thing. I keep all Away from string reviews for that reason but occasionally I come up against an instrument like I did today with this pick a pick uh, instrument where I thought that the instrument had some real promise to it but it was really let down by absolutely appalling strings that were stretchy bendy basically I had people commenting saying is the intonation out no the intonation wasn't out on the instrument it's the strings that are bending out of tune just by the action of just playing the things and it's just really started to trouble me because I did wonder whether the instrument would get closer to that new and new concert uh, the colour concert with a different set of strings on it. So I've changed the strings, as you can see. I've got a bunch of string coils here and a load of mess down at the bridge. What I've put on it doesn't really matter, really. I've put um, Seagua Blue Label Fishing Line on it, which is what I put on most of my instruments. It's clear fluorocarbon. It's indistinguishable from Worth Clears. It's indistinguishable from Martin fluorocarbon. It's the same stuff. Um, so, okay, they've not really settled and it's going to be a real mess. But if I can find my tuner, if I can find my tuner, I'll try and bang it into tune and then we'll just have another listen to it because I listened back to that video I did earlier today of this one and it sounded pretty terrible, I thought. And I don't think it's a terrible instrument. I think it just needed different strings. So I know this isn't a back-to-back. -back. I can't do a back-to-back -back with the original strings. You'd have to go back to the original video that I put up earlier and these are still stretching so bear with me so but immediately I've got less of I've got more bite I've got more volume nicer feel on the fretting hand much nicer feel on the fretting hand and what people noticed in that video was the strings were bending out of tune as I played up no problem now hate to say it I think that's got more volume more projection and more than the Inui Inui uh. brighter, more attack. Um. The pick a pick. Mellower, rounder, very different sort of sound, but far closer now between the two. And now it really is a which sound do you prefer thing. So, you know, I was absolutely convinced those strings that were on it were absolutely appalling. This is just fishing line. You could put Worth Clears on one of these or Martin Fluorocarbon would be the same sort of thing. Um, it's the same material, as I keep saying. Um, but the, t you know, the, the bendiness and the, the ability to throw the strings out of tune has gone. 
much nicer to play. Um, I don't like doing this because you buy one of these, you're going to buy it with those strings. If you're a beginner, you're going to be uncomfortable changing strings. And you shouldn't be uncomfortable changing strings, but that's, that's just the way it is. A lot of these are going to get bought for kids and they're not going to want to worry about which strings to buy and what. They're going to play the strings that came on it. And that is a big criticism for the brand. And it remains a criticism because they should never sell it with strings that are not fit for purpose. But that's an interesting experiment because I think this is now... A really nice sounding instrument. There we are, wish I hadn't done that, may regret it, but there we are. The Pick a Pick UC23 with fluorocarbon strings on it is quite a different beast. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye.